Hi gang, my name is Steve Yates and today I want to show you one of my programs called Blackline. Blackline basically takes a photograph and converts it to a black lined image. Um, what it doesn't do is convert it to a black and white image um, like CorelDRAW does. Uh, it actually literally goes in there and finds any two pixels that have a contrast and puts a line between them. And uh, the reason why I did this was because converting to black and white uh, plain old doesn't work and customers don't want to pay for traced artwork. A lot of times they'll bring in their um, photos and they want their bike or their car or whatever uh, traced out and put on a shirt and of course they're very surprised to find out that it's not only time consuming but time costs money. And so I went ahead and invented black line and that kind of cut cornered a lot of those kind of customers. Um, and gave them a quality piece of artwork without uh, having to charge them an arm and a leg to do it. And what this also did was didn't send the customer down the street uh, to a guy who maybe uh, might go ahead and do that tracing for very, very, very cheap. Um, so this keeps all the artwork in-house and uh, at the same time gives your customer a quality piece of artwork. Uh, what you can see in front of you is a V-twin that I just did for the sake of this demo, and I'll show you how I got here. Um, right now you can see all the fins, all the everything, cabling, the pipes, all the detail is there. And this is, a, of course, a, a, a real zoomed in, and uh, you can see, in fact, here's another one. Unfortunately, since it's a fat boy, you can't really see spokes, but what you can see is wheel detail and stuff like that. And a lot of this detail can be brought out even more with black line. I just did a real quick one so we can do this demo. I'm gonna pull this out so we can see the whole bike. There's the whole bike. And now I'm gonna delete the bike and I'm gonna paste in the what it was. This is what it was. And I'm gonna show you how I got to that place. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Tools, Visual Basic, Play, and Steve's Black Line. Run Black Line and black line will pop up on the screen and I'm going to go ahead and move this bike over a little bit so you can see what's happening now at face value there's a few things going on here the only thing I'm going to click on right now for the demo is for screen only and uh, what this basically does in for a screen view it basically any alias is the lines themselves as you know um, CorelDRAW doesn't handle bitmaps very well at all and so for screen purposes you need to anti-alias the edges a little bit so you can see the image and I'll show you the difference between the two but I'm gonna first go ahead and run this um, black line black line pretty quickly will go in there and find the uh, lines between here and there this is a piece of artwork that could easily be a full front on a shirt um, this is let me see I'll tell you real quick this particular piece right now has a little over 17 inches so you put this into an 11 12 piece of 11 inch or 12 inch piece of artwork uh, with whatever copy on the top and the bottom and design and all that that you're going to need and you've got a really usable piece of artwork in a fairly quick amount of time I'm going to go ahead and back this up so you can see um, see this over again and I'll show you how I pumped up the resolution all I did was go into bitmaps resample and I did the unthinkable um, right now it's at 150 dpi let's go ahead and pump it up to 300 whoops hit ok and of course you know when I hit black line on this now it's going to take a little bit longer but the image is going to be a lot better and I know what you're thinking right now you're thinking that all you did was pump up the pixels that are already there that's true but one thing that black or excuse me Corel draw will do is replace a pixel um, if you any alias it and so it, and it does a pretty good job on it on higher resolution images if you start out with a real low resolution image and try and pump it up to a real high resolution image of course you're gonna get some pretty hardcore pixelation but in this particular case I think we'll be okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit black line just to show you the image itself and you'll notice that the lines are a little bit cleaner a little bit finer and uh, they might not be you know dead right on but we're talking about screen printing and line art so we really don't need a uh, uh, 
killer line and if you do need a killer line um, after you're done with the black line itself you can go into Corel Trace and of course trace the image black lines done I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about you can see that these lines are very clean I mean they're very very usable I mean you can read the logo on the gas tank it's a very usable piece of artwork um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the functions of black line just to show you um, you know what they all do the lighter and darker obviously this is exactly what it says lighter and darker and uh, what that'll do is it'll not just pump up the line value of uh, the lines themselves but in some cases it'll make you'll lose a little bit of detail where it's darker and so you want to be careful when you use that but uh, but of course you want to you do want to use it um, to try and pull out some more detail uh, pixel width this is a real subtle um, thing and, and basically what it does is it just adds a couple more pixels to um, to a line anybody that's done any tracing with uh, Corel draw Corel tracing will know that sometimes a line doesn't quite close and uh, you'll have to go in there and close it and you know do whatever you got to do with nodes or whatever else to try and close um, an image what uh, pixel width will do is sometimes we'll just go ahead and let those two pieces meet uh, and and finish that thing off it's a real subtle thing and a lot of times what it also do is fatten the lines sometimes you need the lines fattened a little bit going on dithered shading dithered shading is actually something that uh, was phased out in X4 and the reason why was people don't use it for one and for two it's it's a little difficult to use and it's something I used in the past and basically what it does is it gives a stippled effect um, to a grayscale image and uh, in some cases it might be usable it's only available on X3 and basically what it is the depth these controls the shading on the depth of the shading and the frequency in DPI meaning um, do you want the dots to be a 72 DPI dot or do you want them to be 300 DPI dot and uh, probably about 150 is what we'd be using in screen printing uh, screen view this is a 300 DPI image and if I turn it off and go ahead and run black line um, it'll go through the whole thing without the anti-aliasing and since CorelDRAW doesn't handle bitmaps real well it will create the image that you're actually going to print because it'll print a fine image no problem but on the screen you're gonna see a real jaggy real pixelated kind of a crummy image and uh, so I went ahead and added the uh, screen view for the sake of seeing it on the monitor and again you can see that this is a real jaggy kind of an ugly image but when you zoom in on it you'll see that uh, this is exactly you know what you need for um, for screens you need an on and off image you don't need any grayscale uh, in between so you kinda get the idea you can see all the fins real well here and if I zoom in even closer you can see it's you know black and white so I'm gonna go ahead and black or excuse me back this out and you get a little bit better idea the reason why I put uh, screen view obviously you can see that it just it requires a, um, a little bit softer edge for the screen itself so that's black line and uh, I hope you uh, um, enjoyed this tutorial I'm gonna back this up a little bit run it one last time with the screen view on and I'm gonna pump up the pixel width a little bit just to um, do one on the way out how's that anyway this uh, program is available either at steveyatesgraphics.com or I've got it at uh, eBay under graphics and graphic automation and I'm sure that'll be on the screen here um, before I you know air this video anyway I appreciate your time I appreciate you looking at this and the other functions that uh, I've got and uh, I will hope to see you soon thanks